Now, let's return for a nice slice of pie. It was actually really good, that pie. It's a shame I don't like making pie because I like eating pie. I like eating pie much more than I like making pie. In today's episode, how do you do into Babas and Baba? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So, look, <laughs> yesterday, sort of burned, but not really. A bit, I guess. Anyway, happy day after midsummer. Is that, it's, it, I don't think that's a thing, is it? I don't think, I'm asking my plant here. Is it? It isn't? No, it isn't. Yeah. So, Scrap that then. Still in bed. Had my breakfast in bed. Brunch in bed. I've been up doing stuff, but I'm in bed sort of editing. I've just finished editing the day before midsummer. I don't want to complain, but it is hot. It's really hot. I've been out on the balcony reading about Strängnäs, which is a city in Sweden, because yesterday Magnus and I decided we are going to see an opera in Strängnäs. So, I think it's on the 2nd of July. Magnus is going to be away for a week now, visiting his parents. And then we're going to go to, when he comes back, I think, that's when we're going to see the opera. Orpheus, Orpheus and Yuri. Eurydice, right? Yeah, pronounce that fantastically. Now it's time to sort of, well, continue sort of sorting through this mess. I will now um, recycle stuff. Recycle like a madman. Yes, I'm going out into the heat. People, I've been slightly obsessed with this perfume from Comme des Garçons. It's palissandre, which is a woody... It's a wood, but the smell is sort of sort of flowery without being sort of girly. I really enjoy it. Magnus did not. He thought it was too smoky, I think, he said. Um, I tried to spritz him yesterday. God damn, I can't get it open. But I've been sort of spritzing myself for two or three days now. Absolutely love it. Try it. You will adore it. It's a perfect summer scent. And by that, I mean it haven't, it has not got those sort of lemony, citrusy, sour frag, sort of undertone. It's just, yeah, you want to wake up next to someone who smells like this. Oh. They're quite nice when you get them on, but they are a little bit hard to get into. I will start by recycling Paper and glass, because I've got a lot, strangely, I don't know, lots and lots of glass needs to be recycled. Uh, no, it's not bottles. Bottles. It's not bottles. This is a great angle. Yeah. So, glass sorted and paper sorted. Now it's on to carton, plastic and metal. This is almost like a hobby. Now I'm on my way to recycle my, yeah, let's see, cotton, metal, plastic, also groceries. They sort of give you these bags where you put sort of scraps of food and then they turn it into something, heat, energy. I'm not sure what they do with it, but it's kind of, the recycle place is three blocks down, so um, it's kind of hard. But they tend to sort of start smelling before I get done with them. And I can't really do it every day, can I? It's a good thing I don't eat meat or dairy because that would be... This is just sort of onion skins and stuff. So groceries recycled or whatever. Mat of fall means, um, well, scraps of food, I guess. Now, let's go in here. No, oh, you can't see it, really can't. Carton, plastic, metal. Now, let's return for a nice slice of pie. It was actually really good, that pie. 
It's a shame I don't like making pie because I like eating pie. I like eating pie much more than I like making pie. Baking pie. Hmm, pie. It's a conundrum. Yesterday, or the day before that, I, make all the, I made all the ingredients, or got all the ingredients to make a trifle. I sort of made it this rhubarb jam, and I was sort of like, oh, Magnus is going to love this on Midsummer Day, Midsummer, Midsummer's Eve. And then I forgot it all. So now I got to eat it. This is very, very, very tasty. It's like, it's like di digestive biscuits in the bottom, just sort of crunched, crushed crunched yeah and then there's rhubarb jam and then there's the um, vegan yogurt sort of to simulate cream because i well i felt healthy yeah well this is kind of healthy kinda oh so good oh. E. <laughs> yes Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.